Hi guys, welcome back. So this is part two of a uh, response to commenter Brian's question, um, which was, what do I eat in the days leading up to a competition? Um, and so if you missed that video yesterday, I will post a link in the description below. Um, and thank you so much, Brian, for your question. I love when you guys comment with questions, guys. It makes my job so easy. Um, I love answering questions that you actually want to learn more about, okay? Um, so, to continue. Um, when you are leading up to a competition, I am begging you, please, do not go on a radical crash diet. If that is my one suggestion you can go home with in terms of food, please don't do that. I know you might want to look, oh, I'm going to place that much better if I can shed five pounds, you know, in the next two days. Please don't do it. You're not going to max out um, your body's potential. Um, as I shared yesterday, your brain needs to be working. Your muscles need to be working. That requires glucose. I... Don't suggest eating that glucose in the form of a, a bunch of candy bars. Um, but I mentioned yesterday, healthy foods, um, low glycemic index, carbohydrates, um, protein, some fats. Um, and if you do that the few days leading up to the competition, that will be, that energy will be stored in your liver and your muscles, not into fat yet. So even if you carb load, you don't have to worry about, oh, the, I'm going to look hideous on the floor. You won't. Okay. Um, you do want to have sufficient energy so that you have an easily accessible energy pathway when you are giving a hundred percent on that comp floor. Okay. Now, according to the Mayo Clinic, it takes two to five days um, for food to pass through your digestive tract. Um, now, in my case of kind of what I enjoy eating, I eat literally pounds of high fiber veggies daily. I love them. Squash, broccoli, cauliflower. Um, so yeah, I'm weird. Um, so realistically, um, my stomach does pooch after I've had a big meal. It's not fat. It's not in the form of rolls, but it does pooch. Um, so for me, if you eat like I do, um, I honestly on comp day only have coffee. And then I, I chow down after the comp just because I don't want my stomach looking like I'm pregnant. I don't recommend that just having coffee on comp day. I'm just being honest with what I do, but that's probably very particular to me because of the type of foods I enjoy eating. Um, as I shared yesterday, marathon runners do carb load three days prior to the comp, but certainly I do that. Um, but if your belly is prone to bloating or you like to eat you really high fiber, huge foods like I do, um, you know, maybe don't go crazy on those high bulk foods, you know, in even up to five days before the comp, because as I said, it takes two to five days for that food to actually get from point A to point B. Okay, guys, um, as I shared a couple minutes ago, please do not drastically alter your diet. Do not try your new friend's liquid diet plan they're selling. <laughs> Not diet pills, please guys. Um, you, you want to eat healthy foods uh, that provide a long-term healthy energy, okay? Um, you want to maintain a steady weight long-term, guys. That's going to be much more not only healthy, but it's beneficial for you in the rounds. Um, athletically for your body in terms of maximizing building muscle and such. Not to be yo-yo dieting. Just eat healthy all the time. You don't have to eat extra healthy before the comp. Um, but whatever the right weight is, you know, in size for you, be, be steady. That's way better than going up and down and up and down, okay? Um, especially right before the comp. You want to minimize variables. So, it decreases your stress and maximizes your athletic potential. Um, 
please don't experiment with supplements, you know, new foods, even in the two weeks prior to the comp. The last thing you want is indigestion, nausea, the runs, the jitters, or worse, you could just be straight up sick, okay? Any of these will obviously negatively impact, impact your performance. Um, so it just bear these things in mind the few days before the comp, especially, you know, yesterday I'd mentioned the fluid intake, you sweat out 1.4 liters an hour up to that. Your body can usually only ingest about one liter an hour. So definitely if you're going to load up on anything for the comp, um, have it be fluids, um, eat healthy long-term, don't crazy adjust your diet right before the comp, um, avoid supplements, uh, liquid diets, anything nutty or out of the ordinary. Um, and as a matter of fact, you know, if you're competing open championship, you know, I had a, a friend who, to my shock actually, and, and um, talking about a world finalist, um, DQ'd from competition. It was like one or two years because she tested positive for a diet pill, basically. Um, so, to my knowledge, they don't they don't screen for that stuff in pro am. But you know, certainly if you're doing IDSF event guys at the championship level, um, and they don't screen the syllabus, to my knowledge, at least they didn't in my day. But they do randomly drug tests. Um, those championship level competitors. And wouldn't that be devastating if you were DQ'd from that comp in front of everyone? Now it's public record on the internet. You're not allowed to compete. Uh, uh, you know, in the future, like, oh my heavens, what a dumpster fire that would be. Because we all love dancing. We just want to do it and we want to do it to our max. So um, I appreciate your comments. Again, thank you so much, Brian, for your question. Great question about what do I eat before the comp. Um, I am a great resource for really all things culturally ballroom dance. I've been in this industry a long time. I've competed as an amateur, as a pro, beginning through championship level pro. I've owned the largest ballroom dance in the United States. Um, I have social danced a ton. I mean, um, I've traveled all over the world ballroom dancing. So anything you want to know that I can share my personal experience that might be interesting to you or, hey, hopefully even helpful, please let me know. Um, cause I know we're all ballroom dance fans here. Um, so thanks so much for joining me today, guys. I hope that's been helpful. You know, if certainly if you're a doctor or a dietitian, please comment below. I would love to hear your comments because I'm not a professional diet person. Um, I'm just sharing what my experience has been. Um, and obviously, um, well-established medical research as well, because that can be helpful for us as dancers. So good luck in your next competition. And I will see you in the morning. And I believe tomorrow I'll be doing another ballroom technique video. So see you then. Doodles!